Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. And today we're here to look at a kit by uh, Lilifee the Paper Witch. And this kit is called Nature Collage. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at it real quick. And then um, I'm going to put you on pause because I've got to finish cutting everything out. I decided to show it to you the size that it prints out. <clears throat> now it is um, uh, UK sized. So when you print it out, if you print it out the way you should, which is um, you turn off your borderless and you turn off your fit to page, then this is the size that you get. And you get this beautiful um, collage page. Then you've got these tags. Now I've printed just a generic, um, uh, what do you call it, coffee dyed paper uh, print on the back. And you get this file folder. And you have this is a smaller, even yet, um, collage page. Then you've got these two card pages, which are really nice. And you've got this set of envelopes and this file folder. Now, <clears throat> what I've done is I couldn't decide exactly what to do um, because I'm not very good at. Um, <laughs> taking one or two uh, pieces of paper and making something out of them. I don't know why. So that's my own shortcoming. This is a beautiful set. Um, so what I did was I printed it out a couple different ways, just this one, um, to see what I could do. I was thinking of printing, I printed it this way, which is two five by sevens, side by side. And I thought maybe I would cut it out and leave the white here and fold it in half and then, uh, you know, stitch some coffee dyed paper in and then put some lace over it. Still, still an option. Then I printed it out the way you shouldn't do it, which is borderless and fit to page. Now the difference is, and the reason you can do it with this page and normally you can't or shouldn't, is because you lose a little bit of the edge of the page. Now, on this particular paper, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it does, but it doesn't because the um, edges are not part of an image like this. Okay, they're just their pattern. So no one's going to know that you're missing an eighth of an inch of the image all the way around. So this is a possibility to make a cover this way. And this is probably what we'll do. Um, And then uh, we're going to use some coffee dyed paper as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, I know this was pretty quick. We're just going to do this single video um, and, and uh, get this little project done. And <clears throat> I'm going to put you on pause so that I can finish cutting everything out. I wanted to show you how it how it printed out, you know, straight out of the uh, machine, out of the printer the machine, <laughs> the magic machine, um, and then we will, um, you know, I might print this one out uh, bigger. No, I want it this size. All right, let me cut everything out, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so um, I've got all this stuff cut up and inked, and what I wanted to show you was I missed these four cards when I was showing you the um, items the first time around. Got them all upside down and they're gorgeous and what I did was I had accidentally printed this on one side and these on the other I don't know how I missed that and did that so I had to reprint them so um, I printed the tan on the back of this but I found one that was lined I figured that way we would have something on the inside cover and then um, I printed the lined on the back of these as well since they're like writing cards well, they're not like writing cards. They are writing cards. Then I also, I showed you the page with the tags on them, so I cut out and inked those. And then I forgot to show you, um, there's an ephemera page. So you've got ephemera that you can use as well. So, so I'm sorry about that. I had it all cut up, my scan and cut, and it was laying over there on the uh, mat. And I totally forgot it was over there. And... Um, 
I'm not going to use this, and that's about the only thing that uh, we're not going to use, except for, of course, some of the ephemeral. We won't be able to use all of it. So we're going to set this to the side. This one is the other, the other one, just like this one. And instead of using it as an envelope, I cut the bottom part off that you normally would fold up, right? And I made a card out of it, and I'm going to use this as a pocket instead. All right? So we've got that. We've got the two writing cards, the four postcards, this card in a pocket. I've cut this, uh, the borders off, and folded it in half and inked it. These uh, folders, I've got a card in each one. You'll see why in a minute. And then, of course, we have our cover that we're going to fold it in half. And that's going to fold our butterflies in half, but that's okay. We'll have half a butterfly on the front and half a butterfly on the back. Okay. So then we're going to fold these in half. I inked these as well. I'm using a vintage photo. I was going to use gathered twigs, but I felt like that was a little too dark. Even though I'm kind of liking gathered twigs versus, oh look, I have to ink here. Well, silly me. Um, anyway, I like gathered twigs um, as an alternative to vintage photo because, you know, I'm kind of getting burned out on vintage photo. Um, for my brown and so I've been using that but I thought it would be a little dark on the coffee dyed paper and these are lighter colored so I um, decided to not I wonder if I should do both sides yeah it looks like it because you're not going to see them together so, I guess I should ink both sides. That way you can kind of do the corner a little bit. So, what we're going to do, I took out one of the papers. We're going to use two coffee dyed papers, not three. And you can use three. Um, you can do more. There's nobody saying you can't. I just did that side twice. Okay. I'm sorry if I talk funny. It's uh, I went to the dentist yesterday and had some work done, and they the tooth part doesn't hurt, but the my cheek is all swollen where they rubbed the inside of my mouth raw, you know, from the equipment and stuff. All right, we're going to put these two together. And we're going to put them inside of here. Easy peasy. We're going to put this in between. And then in the center, we're going to put these two. Now, what I'm planning on doing, and what we're going to do, is we are going to um, trim this and glue it in here. So I'm not going to round it all off and do all that. I'm going to put it right here, and that'll give it a border it looks like I'm going to have to trim just a smidge off. Paper clip this so it doesn't move. Hopefully it doesn't move. And then let's turn it over. Well, I wasn't going to...
Oops, and I almost cut off the wrong end. I almost cut off part of the bird's head. trimmed it off up here. <laughs> Not a good plan. All right, the flowers are directional. Let's see if this will work. Oh, for goodness sakes. There we go. All right, now let's use this one to make this one the same size. And instead of using the, these two as writing cards, we're going to glue them in and pretend like they had been printed on the inside of these file folders. Alright, so now both of these should work. Mm-hmm. And I just need to re-ink them. It's kind of silly to ink the two I knew I was going to use, but at least we're only going to be inking the front. Now there'll be extra decorating, obviously, that you'll be able to do that we won't... Um, Be able to get to in our hour, but I think if I can sew, we all know how that goes on camera for me. Okay, and this one's directional, and we'll put this one in here. Yeah, this one in here. And I want to put one on one side and one on the other. So I should have measured to this side, but they sh I think they're the same. Now, if you have a graphics program that you can use, you can take the image of this folder, flip it over. No, mirror it over. And then you can actually print one on the on top of the other. Do you know what I mean? And then you'd have this on one side, this on the other, and you'd have, they'd be printed on the tabs. But I didn't do that. Wanted to show you without manipulating anything, you know, on the computer. And I use a program that's simple you don't have to know how to use Photoshop to do that. I use um, Microsoft Publisher, which is actually a newsletter uh, program and not um, a graphics graphics program per se. All right, so we're going to put this one on this side. I'm going to put this one on this side. And it's just arbitrary. There's no particular reason. For which one I put on which side. And then we'll have the writing side on the other side.
fuzzies off of my dauber on my clothes. I just, it's a new dauber too. I don't understand. Okay, so I'll put that on there. And then we'll put this one on here. And I was going to try to waterfall them, but I'm not sure they might be a little too big. But I thought them being larger, it would be easier because then I could clip them in when I sew. And it would just be easier all the way around. Okay. So what I was going to do, and I may still do it, let me take a look, is I'm going to put or I wanted to put, oh, I should have um, flipped one over because now the tabs are the same. Let's see if the glue's dry on this one. Oh, that puts it upside down, though. Okay. put it right back. So I was going to do them like this. I was going to put one here and then one down here and then when they're closed they would, you know, waterfall but I, I don't like the way that looks anyway. So let's do this. Now, if you had the three pieces of coffee dyed paper, then you could put the piece in between here. Let me go get one. I think that's what I want to do. Get a different one. That one's a little too dark. So then we'll have every other page will be a coffee dyed page and every other page will be either that one um, smaller image page or one of the file folders. Let's get this puppy inked up. So this is something quick and easy. You can make a flat mailer out of this and send it as a gift, a card, kind of. It's not really a card, it's more of a little book or a booklet. But somebody would like to get it in the mail, I'm sure. No, I would. You just make one and send it to me. <laughs> that would be fun. And I would keep it forever. I hoard everything. I have something like 60 journals that I've made in the last two years. Yes, I know. And, or two and a half years. And, um, 
they're all over the place. I have a small apartment. They're on every shelf that I've got. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. For some reason, I have an issue, you know, selling them. I, I, I want them. And I would miss them if they were gone. Okay, so we'll do this. And we'll do that. And we'll do that. And we'll do that. This we need to put in the center. Put this one at the bottom. Put this one up here. Maybe I should use my smaller clips. I'm going to just poke three holes. Hopefully everything will stay lined up. This is my pokey tool. It's a We Are Memory Keepers. It's a Brad opener, you know, the little legs. Smushes them down flat on one side. And a pokey tool on the other. Getting ready to get a... Um, we're going to go... Oopsie. Noticed one I forgot to ink. This so happened to be the cover. Okay. Trying to get them all lined up straight. See if that works. All right, now this is not going to have all three holes in it, it's only going to have two. So we're going to take this about an inch up from the bottom, we're going to poke a hole. I probably should have done it from the outside in. center. And then about an inch down from the top. And 
This is just a prime bag stuffed with more prime bags and bubble wrap, and then I just stapled it together to make something that I can poke holes on. Okay. Now we're going to cover the pokey tool <laughs> so I don't pokey myself. Then we're going to get some of this embroidery floss. Oh, I think I pulled the wrong one. Okay, so we want one. Okay. I will spool it. This is why I don't like doing this. It'd take me five minutes to do this. Four minutes to sew it. I'm always afraid I'm going to cut the um, the floss. Oh, for goodness sakes. Look at that. What a mess. Just for that. Okay. Yes, I had the inside one. Here's the right one. But now it's all tangled up. Ah, piece of paper still stuck on it. All right, let's see if we can get three lengths out of that, and I'll straighten the rest of it later. All right, one, two, three. For some reason, I always feel the urge to put just a smidge extra on there, even though I usually end up not needing it. And then I have the needle that I used flipped around in here so it comes out this way and all the rest are in the other way. I don't have to dig around in there and try to figure out which one it is that I like the best. Just one of those crazy things that I do as a crazy person. Now I get this wet by the way we all know. I'm just sticking it in my mouth. Pull it through. We start from the center. And we go out. And we come back in. This is called a three hole pamphlet stitch. And you go all the way back down again. And you go out. Okay, and then you come back in the middle and you don't want to um, get tangled up in this thread and you want this one on this side and the other one on the other side. Let's see what we got here. Well, that worked out. This on this side, then on that side, and we're just going to tie it. As you can see, I do have quite a bit extra.
but you can let that hang down and put a bead or something on it, which I may do. In fact, I probably will. A couple beads would be nice. Okay, now this isn't very um, thick, and the pokey tool makes kind of a large hole. So I put several knots there to make sure it doesn't slide through the hole. So now we've got that sewn together. And we're not going to mention how smoothly that went. <laughs> because then, then something will go wrong. So now we open it up. We've got the writing space here. And you can stamp it um, or do whatever, you know, on it to decorate. Then we've got this other paper. And we've got this. We've got coffee dyed again. We have this with the image on it on that side. Then this is in the center with the image on this side. And then we've got the same thing on the back side. Okay? All ready for you to decorate. Isn't that nifty neato? Okay. And one's at one of those file folders is aligned with the top and one's at the bottom. See this one's at the bottom and this one's at the top. That string is going to be annoying. Anyway, so now let's take our... Now with the cards, you're going to have to um, make pockets out of. I'm thinking I'm going to take one of the cards and cut it in half. Um, well, then the other ones wouldn't fit in there, would they? Well, the writing cards would fit in as pockets. So... Let's take this one. And we'll put it right here. And then, like I said, you're definitely going to do more decorating. This is just to get you going in an hour. You can have the whole base done and then go back and do all kinds of stuff that you want to do. Bet you didn't think I could do something in an hour, did you? It's only been 30 minutes. So we might do something in 45. <laughs> hey, I like to surprise you guys like that. So there's a pocket. Actually, we could put one of these bigger ones in here, can't we? Oh, yeah. Let's put the big one in there. Then, I would stamp her stencil. Now, let's see. Which one can we cut in half? Or... Oh, we don't need to. Let's use one of these. Let's use this as a writing card. <clears throat> and we'll use these two as pockets. Then you can print these out twice. You can... Um, you guys are good at using other papers. Music paper. Um papers like that, you can sew them in as well. You can make something much bigger. But I think this is a cute idea for this kit. Um, where it looks like you don't have, you know, you got one large piece, one smaller piece, and then you've got 
four big cards for smaller cards in some ephemera. So I think... That, um, that it works out well for a booklet. Well, look at that. Isn't that just handy? I think it is. thought in my mind. Hey. Okay. So we had a belly band. Now it's not going to be big enough for one of these because remember we cut the other ones down. But you can cut this down. There's plenty of room around the edges. Just be careful of his tail and the head. So I would cut some off the top here um, so that it fits because I think, I think, I think you would be able to do it without cutting his head off. Hmm, that's kind of close. Yeah, let's use this one. There's what's left of the... <laughs> I guess I'll have fun with that after we're done, huh? That's how we could finish up. We could just um, sit around and watch me untangle embroidery cloths. What do you think about that? I think it would be just peachy. <laughs> yep. Look at that, and then the butterflies are on the side. It's right in there. So we've got this pocket. We've got writing space that we can stencil and stamp. Just be careful with the coffee dyed paper. It's just typewriter paper, at least mine is. Um, and when you go to stamp, it could go through. So I recommend uh, using a stencil and ink. It's just me. Um, I've got, and we've got that. So I would put something in here somewhere. Yeah, I see the whole back half is empty for you. So let's glue this one on as a pocket in the back. Then inside of this one, I should put this. This one's just a smidge long. Not long enough for the page, but just a smidge long for the folder. Oh, 
look at that. There's my needle. Not good. I moved everything around and I keep wanting to work over here because that used to be where my center was. <laughs> Some of the ephemera, the one ephemera page I printed on the back of, the other one that I knew was just going to be things glued on, um, I did not. So we got that there. You could make up this envelope and it would fit in there, I think. This one's pretty dark, can't see any dotted lines, but if you just go from where that corner comes around, go straight across there. And then do the same thing on the sides. Technically I'm Holding it on, or scoring it on the wrong side, but I should have the print facing downwards because of the way it wants to fold, but that's all right. Oops, I didn't do the top. We'll make it work. All right, we will have to ink this side. I would maybe print the cover page one more time. And cut it up into some pockets, those four different colored areas to make some pockets um, for the tags. But it looks like we're going to use everything but the. No, we're going to use everything. Da -da -da -da. Every single thing in the kit. And then you'll use your ephemera to decorate. Yeah, it's a smidge off. And I'm going to ink this.
And then you can make a little card. This piece of ephemera right here had uh, scrolls around it. It was really pretty. I mean, it's still pretty. I really like the inner, inside as well. Um, but my scan and cut myrtleized it. So I just cut that scrolly part off so I still had the oval. So we could put this here. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Just gluing half of it. Then I'm going to take this and stick it in here. Now, this is probably not going to stay in here, and I would put it in a pocket instead normally. So you can make something else for this belly band. I just wanted to show you that we could use up everything. And let's put this as a pocket right here. stuffed pocket. Be careful you don't stick them in too far right now because the glue is still wet. Okay. So, and now we've used up all the pieces that come with the came with the original kit. Put that there. That there. Or Put it down here. Then we could take these two butterflies, which are very cool. They're collage butterflies. And put them here and here. Yep. My scan and cut took out a little piece there. didn't see the dark line for some reason. I spend my time talking about my scan and cut apparently. <laughs> All my waking hours. You know what I could have done? Could have made this into a little tuck as well. Sorry about that. Okay, so I've glued these two on. Now I'm going to glue my butterflies on. I'm just going to glue them in the center. My brother's been trying to get a hold of me and he's out of town, lives out of town, and so I'm wondering why he's calling so persistently. 
I can't text him or anything where he's at, so. Yeah, and then now that you've got them on there and you've just glued the body, then you can take the wings and bring them up. Okay? And so that gives your cover dimension. So what do you think about that? And we've still got these couple pieces left to um, use. But that's all. That's all we have left right there. We've used everything else. Okay? So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. And I want to thank um, Daniela for asking me to do this. And um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye. Have fun.